what's up? How's it going, everybody? So, we're back today. Uh, trying to go ahead and get this cloaker, these cloakers finished. As you can see, we got the majority of them done, honestly. There's just some detailing to go over. And then I want to go over these purples with uh, a the indigo color to kind of give it a little bit more of a depth to it. You can also see that the purple that I used for this guy did not paint completely through. You can see where bits of white, bits of the primer are still somewhat fashioned. So I want to go over that. I want to touch up on the details like these claws up here um, as well as like the mandibles and hit on the final details throw a wash on this bad boy a couple of highlights and then they are primer and good to go we got it pretty much almost done in the last stream but I don't want to let this sit and then two months from now you know come back and finish this I want these to be done I want it to be off of my mind a completed project so this will be probably a quick, hopefully like one to one and a half hour stream. The only thing that I'm going to change from what I did before or what I said I wanted to do before is I'm actually, so I did a little bit of research on them uh, earlier today and I really like the idea of tattooing the back of this one with uh, a drow house symbol and it being uh, it being like a collection to the beast master of that house it sounds really stupid but I feel like it would be a cool uh, inclusion in an encounter sorry I'm sniffing a lot today I think it'd be a cool inclusion in an encounter um, if the, you know, the party decides that they want to fight the Beastmaster of so-and-so's house. And, you know, the first time that they see this character I talk about, it has a billowing cape on. You know, almost like it has a life of its own. And then, when they finally do encounter this guy, like, he maybe a couple different encounters where he always gets away, but he throws a different monster at them. And then in their final encounter with him, you know, you see him rip off the cape and it's actually a cloaker that he's trained as a pet. I think that'd be, I think that'd be an awesome uh, inclusion and encounter that could really make it unique and feel memorable uh, and, and add that much more of a challenge to it. So that is something that I'll be doing is with him, I will be going over him with that indigo color uh, just like I will for the other guys. And then after that I will go over it with something probably orange probably something light um i don't think i want to do another purple i don't think i want to do purple on blue on purple but i will probably go over it on a with a lighter coloration um could even be as simple as a white just a plain white but we will get to that first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint this indigo on the back of the wings and we're going to get this stream rolling all right
All right, now that we have gotten this blue across, it comes down to the most tedious part, especially for these two minis. This guy, not so much, but we're going to be returning back to this, let's see here, we'll put right here. We will be returning back to this dark stone color. Um, and if you remember from the last stream, it is what I painted these guys. What I painted their little, uh, like their, their stinger, their tail. <clears throat> and I kind of gave it that so that it had something that blends in with the ground. That was probably a good noise. Something that blends in with the ground. Um, and the hard part here is this is like a detail painting at this point. I want it to be these rib areas. I want it to be like an exoskeleton kind of thing. And then I want it to be the spine area as well, as well as a little bit of like this horn. And honestly, also the teeth. Um, I basically want it to be like, this is the coloration of their bone. So it'll also be this little, this little claw area. And then after I, um, with this guy, I guess I'll also say, It'll be these little, um, uh, like little pincers that it has, little mandibles. Um, so it'll be this little, this little white spot here, these little bone areas. And it'll also be the color of the tail, these spikes as well. These are supposed to be like part of its bone jutting out so that it can use its tail as a thorny whip kind of thing. So... This is going to be all detail, obviously I don't want to get it on the blue at all. And then once we have washed it, we will go over the coloration again with this dark indigo. And we will also go over the bony areas with a skeleton bone. And that's ultimately just to give it a little bit of brushing highlight. Um, by doing that, I think it'll give it a little bit more depth and a little bit of this detail that it's like the, the bones, like this is its major form of combat. So, you know, it gives it that wear and tear, makes it feel like it has this mileage on it that these things have seen combat before. And I think it'll, I think it'll add that little bit more flavor to it. But it's down to the very finite detail. So, let's begin.
flat.